We're Gina and Steven with Live Deeper 10X, and we're traveling the world one house sit at a time. If you missed our last video, we headed into Segovia for the day. We enjoyed the aqueducts, spent time at the Alcazar, which is a castle, a fortress, palace, and ate some of the best food we've ever had, including a renowned treat created in Segovia. It is an amazing town, and today, Gina and I are in the Reina Sofia Museum in Madrid, and one very cool thing about this museum is that it's arranged in kind of a random, semi-haphazard mm -hmm. way. It's not like you could go, where is the room with all of the Dali paintings? They were very specific about making it so that you would go to see all of the different works of art. So you have Pablo Picasso, you have Salvador Dali, you have um, Miro, and so they scattered a lot of their artwork in and around the entire museum. Yeah, it's all mixed in. All mixed in. Okay, here's something very interesting about the Reina Sofia Museum. We've been here walking around for about 20 minutes and haven't found one painting. It's just this hallway that you see behind me. A whole lot of them. A lot of, and look, there's another one. I think there's paintings this way. There's another one. We've yet to see a painting anywhere. Finally. So Stephen and I are doing 15 questions in the Random Sophia Museum because we thought it would be a cool way to show you the museum. Stephen has these really deep, rich, and like engaging questions that he's come up with, and I found mine online. So you're gonna find mine to be much more shotgun questions, and his are gonna be a lot deeper. The first question for Gina, name one significant way that you have changed since beginning your travels. Go. <laughs> um, I don't dry my hair every day and I don't take a shower every day. <laughs> if you're looking for something with more depth, I'll have to get back to you on that. We're standing actually in front of a Pablo Picasso. What annoys you the most? In the life. <laughs> Again, let me just clarify that when you ask Stephen a question, he needs very specific background in your personal career, in your career right now. In my career? Yeah. I don't have a career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm careerless. Second question for Gina. What is the most unexpected thing you have encountered while traveling? Go. How safe it really is. It's really become, I used to think it was a very unsafe place to travel in the world, but it's really quite safe. I really have been very surprised by that. <laughs> okay, all right, how about this? What's the career highlight you're most proud of? Oh, oh. So we'd have to pick a career. Geology. Geology, most significant thing would be experiencing my oral exam, which is very different yeah, than so at the dentist. Yeah, so clarify what that means. <laughs> <laughs> if you could have brought one additional thing with you on your journey that you did not, what would it be? Oh my gosh, it's so easy. Ethan. <laughs> Excluding Ethan. I can't exclude Ethan. It's a thing. A thing? Yeah. Oh, um... Supply of some sort. My curling iron. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> That's not what you're looking for. What was the worst job you've ever had? Real job or volunteer job? If you were to go back home today, how would you live your life differently than before you left? I wouldn't work as hard. Mm -hmm. I would do less. I wouldn't work as hard as I normally do. Mm -hmm. Worst job period, doesn't matter if you got paid or not. Okay, so I think it would be a volunteer job where I had to mix tons of raw meat and prepare those to be eaten by extremely large carnivores. <laughs> so where was that? That was at the Wild Animal Sanctuary in Colorado. Aside from family and friends, what is the one thing you miss most about being home? Sleeping in my bed. I have a really amazing bed at home that my son is now using that we invested a lot of money in that I knew I was going to miss. So I would say having my own bed. What's your favorite season? Well, that would be autumn. What's the best joke you've ever heard? Why did the chicken cross the road? What's the phone app? Wait, don't you need, you need to know the answer to no, the joke? Don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. We're doing shotgun questions here. Of the places you have visited so far, where would you live if you had to decide today? I, uh, Scotland in Edinburgh. How come? Because I love the city. Okay. And I want to live in that city because it seems really cool. All right. What's the phone app you use the most? 
What's F right now? How would you define your comfort zone now? On a scale of like one to ten? No. How would you define your comfort zone? I feel like I have more comfort in my life. I feel like I can handle things more. I don't know. How would I define it? That's a crazy question. That's a wrong question. <laughs> What's the best way to start the day? Singing. What do you wish you knew more about? Everything. How have you become stronger since beginning your travel? I'm more willing to take risks than I was before. Like what? Walking at night in a strange city. I'm bleeding now. Goodbye. What TV or YouTube channel doesn't exist but really should? How best to make a good YouTube channel. <laughs> What's your favorite game? Oh, AF Pregunta. Would you rather cook or order in? If I'm cooking, I'd rather order in. If you're cooking, I'd rather some cook. What do you do on your commute to and from work? Um, I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what is the next thing that you would like to learn? Spanish. I would love to learn more Spanish. I just have to take the time to actually learn Spanish. How different was your life one year ago? One year ago, it was very different. Work and less play. Sure. Why do you want to learn more Spanish? Because I'm in a Spanish-speaking country and I'm Spanish. It would be nice to learn how to speak my other language. What takes up too much of your time? Being hungry. <laughs> What mystery do you wish you knew the answer to? Next question. What kind of art do you enjoy most? <gasps> We're in an art museum. That's a perfect question. Yes, I like impressionism. And are you impressed by the impression? I, I am. How have you surprised yourself most since beginning this journey? How to navigate around strange cities how to get to different places in countries where you don't speak the language. That's been the most impressive. Why would that uh, surprise you? Because it's hard enough to do it in your own language, <laughs> and to do, it in, to do it in another language, and in a big city, and in a place where you don't know anybody or know anything. So it was most surprising to me that I was able to do that. I didn't think I was going to be as good at it as I am. I'll say that. Okay. I think I'm pretty good at it. You are. Mm -hmm. She's really good at it. I'm out of questions. Are you an early or late person? I'm an on-time person. What's your claim to fame? A great son. What shows are you into? Uh, clickbait. What would be the best way to convince your son to move overseas? Pay him $10,000. Is that the only option? I think if he had the opportunity to get a lot of money and a motorcycle and ride his motorcycle around in Europe, I could get him here in like a week. Oh, the greatest mystery, of course. I totally blanked at the time. Is there life on other planets? Ugh. I should have said that. Oh. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up. That way YouTube knows that it should show this video to more people. Make sure and click the bell because that's the way that you will get each one of these videos straight to your inbox as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching.